George Phipps, tell me a little bit about what you want to see in a crimson and gray intra-squad meet. Uh, a little bit of having fun and a little bit of competitiveness, and I thought we got both of that uh, today. It's just a great way to end a long fall training. Uh, no matter what kind of experience you've had going in uh, as a freshman, you're still just a freshman. This is really like your first race ever or your first throw ever. And so it's uh, interesting to see how people uh, respond to that. But overall, I thought we did a great job. So how'd you feel about your performance today? You ran a 60 hurdles that looked pretty good. Yeah, it was a lifetime PR, which is, is nice, but it's it's just a, it's an event, it's a filler event. So it's it's good to work over the top hurdle and do get, get good form work for 400 hurdles outdoor. What else will you be doing during the indoor season? Uh, whatever coach wants, 800, 600, 400s, hurdles, 60. You know, he just kind of it's a day by day and he tells me usually the night before, prepare for this. I heard a little rumor that you were going to add a couple of more events this year. Talk a little bit about that. Um, I'm really excited, actually. I've always wanted to do all seven events, and being able to add the 400 hurdles and the 4x4 just kind of completes everything, so I'm really excited. Do you set two different sets of goals, or do you just keep trying to improve every week? Of course improve every week, but um, I do have different goals just because I feel more comfortable with outdoors, so the heptathlon, I feel like more my event even though they're kind of tied. So for this year I've definitely set my goals a little bit higher. I really want to try and run a 55. Um, so that's my goal for the four hurdles and since this is my first year as a HEP, I'll take anything. <laughs> Can you tell me about your goals for this year either indoor or outdoor? Yeah I think our, our, our focal point is for outdoor this year. It's uh, the Olympic year so we're gonna focus uh, initially on just getting the time to get into the trials and once we get there I truly believe anything can happen. Since I made it to nationals, I had a longer time to keep training, and so my summer was a little bit shorter. So I came in thinking, like, being more prepared and being more in shape. Since I went to nationals, but I think it was just the perfect amount. So when I came to fall training, I wasn't completely fatigued. So I think it was the perfect amount, and fall training was really good this year. We also realized that it's a long season for them. Once we start, you know, we're going every weekend until the middle of June. So it's a good opportunity for them, you know, to get home and relax a little bit, be with their family over Christmas and then we'll really get after it hard that first week uh, of school. And you've got to meet that weekend. Exactly, yeah. So we have to get after it hard. All right. Well, thank you, coach, and good luck to the Cougs this season. Thank you very much and go Cougs.